Attorney Mark? Yes, sir. You look very familiar to me. Did you used to work for government? What position did you hold? So you only held that position for one year. Um, why so short? So you felt so the president may have lost trust and confidence. Yes, you. yes, Mr. Chair. Your termination had nothing to do with your um, involvement with Wirecard. Umabot na daw sa tila sukdulang pagtatanggol kay Speaker Martin Romualdez itong si Congressman J.J. Suarez, matapos nitong tila bulatlatin ang record ng isang abogado ng SMNI na si Attorney Tolentino. Ang usapin kasi ay ukol sa pagkakamaling nagawa at sinabi ni ka Eric Seles hinggil sa 1.8 billion pesos umano na ginastos ni Martin Romualdez sa kanyang mga biyahe. Ngayon ang pagtatanong ni Ka-Eric ay sumisira umano sa kredibilidad ng Congress at ni Mr. Speaker, kaya tila pinag-initan nito ang lawyer ng SMNI at gawan din ng mga tanong na kagaya ng ginawa ni Celes. Sa nasabing pagtatanong ni Suarez tila daw ang linis-linis nito kung umasta, subalit may mga lumabas nga na impormasyon na sangkot rin pala ang nasabing kongresista sa kaso ng samot-saring korupsyon. At narito nga po ang isang post ni Jay Sanza. Ito ay batay sa ulat noong November 5, 2020 na ang sabi ay Isang reklamo para sa plunder, graft, malversation, at failure to render accounts ang isinampa laban kay Quezon 2nd District Representative David, J.J., Suarez at ilang iba pa sa Office of the Ombudsman noong Miyerkules dahil sa iniulat na maling paggamit ng 70 milyon pesos na halaga ng mga supply sa agrikultura at dagat mula 2015 hanggang 2017. Si Diego Magpantay, National President ng Citizens Crime Watch Association, ay nagsampa ng reklamo laban kay Suarez sa kanyang kapasidad bilang dating gobernador ng Quezon, Provincial Accountant Evangelina Ong, Provincial Treasurer Rosario Mary Lou Uy, Provincial Budget Officer Diego Salas, at Provincial Agriculturist na si Roberto Gaho. Ang ulat na ito ay nilagyan pa ng caption ni Jay Sunsenang. Kamukha siya ni Congressman David J.J. Suarez, iyong pinakamaingay na kinatawan at nagmamaktol pa dahil sa isyu ng travel expenses at corruption issues against House Speaker Martin Romualdez. Aniya pa nito ay, nakita ko itong pakalat-kalat sa wall ko. Nagkataon bang kapangalan nito ng Congressman mula Quezon Province na putak ng putak at mukhang mas nasaktan pa siya kaysa kay Speaker Romualdez sa isyu ng bilyong pisong travel expenditures ng House at gusto pang ligwakin yung prangkisa ng SMNI? Tinititigan kung mabuti itong sandamukal ang kasong plunder, kamukha siya ni Congressman J.J. Suarez. Sana lang hindi siya ito, dahil iisipin ng madlang people na may pinaghuhugutan yung pagpalag niya sa isyu ng corruption. Pinagsama rin ito ang usapin ni Dong Gonzales kay J.J. Suarez na pareho umanong may mga kaso ng corruption. Si Gonzales ang kamailang binira si former President Duterte at bumaliktad mula sa partido ng PDP laban. Ayon pa sa post ni Jay Sanza ay, Nagkataon lang ba na sina Senior Deputy Speaker Dong Gonzales at Deputy Majority Leader J.J. Suarez are both facing plunder complaints before the Ombudsman? Ombudsman's record speaks of Gonzales' involvement in infrastructure projects amounting to more than 600 million pesos filed by Barangay Chairman Terence Napao. Representatives Gonzales and Suarez are known staunch supporters and defenders of Speaker Ferdinand Martin Romualdez on various issues involving the House leadership. The Office of the Ombudsman have yet to issue its administrative rulings and courses of action with respect to the criminal liability of both complaints. If brought before the Sandigan Bayan, criminal charges of plunder are a non-bailable offenses. Samantala, panuurin kung paano tratuhin ni Suarez ang isang abogado ng SMNI na tila ba sobrang linis nito at walang kinakaharap na issue o kaso. Magsisimula ang video pagkatapos ng maiksing intro. Um, just my questions to Attorney Mark Tolentino. <clears throat> Attorney Mark? Yes, sir. You look very familiar to me. Uh, did you used to work for government? Yes, Mr. Chair. What position did you hold? I used to be a municipal councillor of my hometown. Second, Which is? Kabadbaran City, Agusan, Del Norte. Then second, as... Uh, 
uh, state solicitor of the office of the solicitor general. Then third, assistant secretary of the DOTR. Assistant secretary of the DOTR. Yes, Mr. Chair. I think, what year was that? 2017, Mr. Chair. Up to? 2018. So you only held that position for one year? Yes, Mr. Chair. Um, why so short? Uh, of course, there was a political issues at the time, Mr. Chair, that I uh, I don't know what really the answer the reason, Mr. Chair. Um, you don't have any idea why? Were you? Did you resign? Were you fired? What was the I reason? I was terminated, Mr. Chair. Oh, you were taken out of your job? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. And the reason for the, your termination was? I have no personal uh, knowledge about the reason, Mr. Chair. So, In fact, uh, I consider it as a... Uh, as an expiration of my term because the, my position is based on trust and confidence of the president. Ah, okay. So you felt, so the president may have lost trust and confidence in yes, you? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Um, your, your termination had nothing to do with your um, involvement with Wirecard? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. Okay. But you know of Wirecard? Yes, Mr. Chair, but uh, that was, uh, the case is already dismissed, Mr. Chair. Dismiss. Yes. Okay. Can you tell us about this wire card uh, involvement and in case that you were that your name was uh, and your person was involved in? Uh, they said that I am a trustee of the of that company. Where in fact, I'm not. And wire card was uh, found. Why was a case uh, filed against wire card? I think that case is pending in Germany, Mr. Chair. Okay. That year. And what is it about? It's about the. Online banking in Germany, Mr. Chair, and they said that I am a trustee of that company. In fact, I am not. Ah, uh, you are not. Uh, so, how did your name um be prop up and be connected to Wirecard? Because uh the COO of Wirecard uh visited my office at that time. Uh huh. Uh, that's that's all I remember because I cannot invoke in details because there is a uh, attorney client privilege, Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, okay. Because you know, I'm just going through some news articles and your name keeps on propping up uh, in relation to the controversy of Wirecard. Yes, Mr. Chair. So, and this has nothing to do uh, uh, with your in, with your termination as a DOTR official. Know, official. Mm -hmm. uh, what about dealing with your sister? Kasi nakasura dito sa Rappler Duterte files DOTR official for allegedly dealing with his sister. Uh, it's not true, Mr. Chair. Uh, this is not true. Uh, there's a mis misunderstanding only, Mr. Chair. Uh, it's a misunderstanding. Yes. Did, did, just maybe a question. Yes, Mr. Chair. A statement. Yes, yes. Similar to what you just said. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. So anyway, let's go back to that statement that you said. Um, so earlier you mentioned that the 1.8 billion was a question. Correct? Uh, based on my opinion, based on when I saw the video, Mr. Chair. Okay. Because I was not there during the no, last I mean, coverage. Yeah, but the mere fact that you're owning up to it. Uh, as an SMNI uh, official, uh, you're stating that it's a question. Because it's a question, Mr. Chair. No, yes. But, I, but you're stating it's a fact Mr. that Mr. it's a Chair. question. That's my question. Just yes or no? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, okay, great. Can I because the reason, why, the reason why I wanted to stress that point is because, number one, you're owning up to it as an SMNI official. Okay. Number two, um, you mentioned that it is a question, so therefore, there was no malicious intent with regards to the statement issued by your block timers, correct? Yes, Mr. Chair. So why was the tweet deleted in social media? Mr. Chair? Why was it deleted in social media? I have no, I cannot answer that, Mr. Chair, because I have no, no, but, you're the, but you're the legal uh, counsel for SMNI. We were uh, trying we can, to... We, we can were, give the link to the Honorable Committee, Mr. Chair. We were trying to get the link and then... I don't know. Can I... May I know the number, Mr. Chair, that we're in? We can send the link of the video, Mr. Chair. Ano? Oh. Ayan, no? nakasula to. This post has uh, been deleted. Mr. S, uh, Mr. Chair, the SMNI face news, face, uh, Facebook page was... Fake news? What did you say? Facebook page, ah, okay. not fake. <laughs> Facebook page was taken down. No, 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 no. This is in no, no, Twitter. Twitter to, hindi to Facebook. The video of Twitter is connected with the Facebook, Mr. Chair. But there is a YouTube link. 
Ah, uh, okay. So hindi kayo nagbaba nagtanggal nito. Na no, no, may share. Kasi nung naglink naman ako, dumiretso ako doon sa Twitter account niyo, hinahanap ko doon, wala rin naman doon. The, the YouTube is share. Ah, uh, so you're saying it wasn't you that took it down. Yes, Mr. Chair. Ah, uh, it was it was Facebook that took it down. The whole page, not just the video, Mr. Chair. So, do you have any um evidence that would say that Facebook took those pages down or maybe just supposed to take your your statement as hook line and sinker? We can submit that to the honorable committee the email of Facebook Mr. Chair. Okay, sige. Fantastic. Kasi it seems like uh it's not the um you know first time that tweets have been and posts have been removed from the SMNI uh, network and for social media pages especially when legal questions uh uh in, are involved no um let me just go back so you mentioned that this show of uh Ka Eric and um Dr Dr Badoy is that correct yes Dr Badoy yeah. former USEC Mr. yes Chair. okay um naka black time sila A- anong arrangement nyo sa show nila co prod research here huh co prod co production a uh, co production so therefore they are employees of SMNI talents which are chair talents employees. okay talents so would you care to share to this committee um as talents how much are they receiving i think that uh, 100,000 a month mr chair 100,000 um and do you have a contract with your talents yes mr chair we can submit that to the honorable committee can you do you have a do you have a copy of those contracts with you now? Can we submit that, Mr. Chair? It's still in our office, Mr. Chair. Okay, so um, um, Mr. Chair, may I request that uh, we subpoena the said documents? Mr. Chair, thank you very much. That uh, those documents be uh, submitted uh, immediately um, before the next hearing. Yes, Mr. Thank Chair. You. Okay, thank you very much. Um, So, what you're saying is they're paid talents. Yes, Mr. Chair. And at the same time as paid talents, um, the show that... Ano bang pangalan ng show nila? Laban Kasama Ang Bayan. Mr. Laban Kasama Ang Bayan. Yes, Mr. Chair. Doon sa Laban Kasama Ang Bayan. Kasama Ang Bayan. Kaninong Bayan? Pilipinas, Mr. Bayan, okay. Um, Laban Kasama Ang Bayan. Um, you are familiar with the show. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. And you watch it regularly, I, I assume? Maybe once a week or twice a week. Okay. So but that, not every day, Mr. Chair. Yes. Are it shown every day? Is it shown uh, every day? Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. So if you're familiar with the show, you can more or less gauge the theme and, and the rapport by which these anchors uh, um conduct themselves in their broadcasts. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. And you will agree that on certain cases, um, they may have uh, exceeded the bounds provided by law when it comes to the KBP Code of Ethics. Would you agree with me? Uh, that's why, Mr. Chair, I'd like to ask, what is that uh, Code of Ethics of KBP and the Broadcast Code uh, so what you're saying is you're not familiar with the broadcast code. Yes, Mr. Chair. I don't know if it is a law or just a code from... So wait, okay, okay. Now, so you're a media entity. You have paid block timers, paid uh, talents that you actually just mentioned receive 100,000 pesos monthly, and yet you're not familiar with the code of ethics by KBP? I am not an expert of that, Mr. Chair. Maybe the, my, my co-counsel can answer that, Mr. Chair. Because I would assume, as a media entity, your your paid talents, especially those in the news uh, segment, would not only understand, but would hold close to their heart the code of ethics of the kapasana ng kapisana ng mga broadcasters ng Pilipinas. Kasi ito ang dapat na sinusunod nilang alituntunin sa pagbalalabas ng balita. Yes, Mr. Chair. And it and it's shocking that you are you as legal counsel just mentioned that you're not familiar. So anyway, um Congressman Rolex Rolex Suplico. Oh, I sorry, Attorney Rolex Suplico. Your you... Honor. Yes, Your Honor. 
kasi sabi po ni Attorney Mark, baka yung ibang kasamahan niya makatulong, di ba ka may tutulong kayo? Well, Your Honor, uh, these are talents. And talents are uh, beforehand, they are uh, required to follow a certain set of standards, including the uh, Broadcast Code of the Philippines uh, 2007. Sometimes, maybe they, they stray out of it, no? they violate it. But again, let me say, Your Honor, the gravity of the franchise, Suarasog, uh, I'm going to tell them what to say, what to ask, when to ask, how to ask. They enjoy a certain independence from us.